Now that I've discussed how filters work, I want to describe their dark side. Now, don't get me wrong, filtering is a great tool. They allow us to eliminate a lot of noise and see our signal more clearly. However, filters are a form of controlled distortion, and when extreme filters are used, they can really mess up the ERPs. This leads to fundamental principle number two. Precision in the frequency domain is inversely related to precision in the time domain. Filtering increases our precision in the frequency domain by giving us a narrower band of frequencies. But when we increase our frequency domain precision this way, we're actually losing temporal resolution. Often, the reduction in temporal resolution is so small that you won't even notice it. But if you heavily filter the data, you can really mess up the time domain ERP waveform. Low-pass filters blur the onset and offset times of the ERP waveform. In this example of a 12 Hz low-pass filter, you can see that the onset time is shifted leftward and the offset time is shifted rightward. High-pass filters are even worse. In this example of a 2.5 Hz high-pass filter, you can see that the positive peaks of the original waveform are preceded and followed by artifactual negative peaks in the filtered waveform. And here's what happens if we use a frequency response function with a very steep slope. It actually induces artificial oscillations in the data. If you'd like to see how excessive filtering can lead to bogus effects and completely incorrect conclusions in real data, take a look at this paper that I wrote with two participants from the ERP bootcamp, Darren Tanner and Kara Morgan Short. Okay, now you're probably feeling a little nervous about filters, but they're actually essential. You just need to make sure that the data aren't over-filtered. How do you know if the filtering is too extreme? You can use this handy dandy little table. It tells you what values are okay, what values are potentially problematic, and what values are something that might really distort the data. Keep in mind that these values are for cognitive and affective research with adults. Different filter settings may be needed to look at early sensory responses or recordings of infants and young children. When you're reading an ERP paper, one of the first things you should look at is the filter settings. If they're in the red range, the filters may have distorted the data so badly that the conclusions are invalid. Not necessarily, but it's definitely something you'd want to be concerned about. 